Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. We're continuing to work in our little DIY art journal. We're using a color palette. There is a sheet of free images on my website if you want to print that out. We have phrases. I love the way this journal is turning out. We're working on the cover, which is well underway. We have our first spread. We have the second spread. I did want to show you a couple of things I added after I turned the camera off last time. I took a tiny paintbrush and used up some of the leftover black paint by making dots, just, just little color dots over here, over here. I love the way that turned out. I also added some black paint around the edges of the flowers where they touched the picture to kind of give it some depth. You can see I didn't do it around this side. This gold paint has dried really, really beautifully. And we have these little gem stickers in the middle of these flowers. Going back to this page, because birds do put all sorts of things in their nests, I've added that piece of gold paint that I pulled off of the lid. You know how acrylic paint dries and you can end up with pieces that you are able to pull off. Um, they're kind of fun to, to, to pull off actually. Look at that. Anything that you can use, just put it right back in your journal. But I did take that piece that came off of the top last time and I just glued it into the nest. I also added some little dots of black Paint. Let's start working on spread three. I started on this a few minutes ago. I wanted to go ahead and get this done. I made a color palette for myself. We started with three colors. Of course, white is so beneficial, so useful to highlight any other color. I suggest using white throughout the journal. But these were the three colors that I had chosen as my color palette. So I made this really fun little card with my color palette. This is one of the pieces of paper that had a lot of staining on it. And this is one of the pockets that we made. So I'm able to just stick this in here. Now I realize with your journal, you might not have a pocket on this spread and that is perfectly okay. You can incorporate a color palette right into the page. You can make one of these and put it to the side in case you have a pocket down the road in your journal. But this is one of the things I ended up with. I do realize that we have used quite a few circles in our journal so far using these jars, and that's okay. Um, you don't wanna completely overuse something, but I do like circles as a shape. It is something to add interest to a page, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some circle shapes to this spread. Let's spread this paint out a little bit, speaking of spread. And let's just get a few circles on this page. I'm gonna put some big ones. I love that it's picking up some of this black. What we can do is stamp here. Part of it went onto this. So you see how that ends up. I went ahead and pulled out another sheet of paper that we can use in the background for staining and catching extra paint. I'm going to pick this picture for today and I do have a reason for that. You can go with any picture that you want to. As part of today's journal spread, I want to cut out a hat. Uh, I'm thinking a top hat, but I do want to cut out a hat out of our sort of junky paper in the background. And I think this is going to be the perfect face and head and profile or whatever to do that. And we're going to fussy cut this time. I'm not going to use the whole, the whole square and we'll just cut straight across the bottom there. I want to make some smaller circles, but for those, I'm going to come back with my other color in the color palette. <laughs> Look, some of that pink chipped off of there. Whoa, it's really thin. So let's just go ahead and maybe put in some pink circles. We might just put one on here. I want that off on this fabric that I'm going to be using down the road. 
And let's put her to the side so she doesn't get messed up. And once again, let's just take some scrap paper and get up some of this extra paint so that we don't have so much floating around what we're using. I'm gonna dry this page a little bit. I really want a lot of different patterns on this page. So I'm gonna come back with this. Let's carry it over to the next page a little bit. I'm gonna come back over with this sort of, it, this is a material that goes underneath rugs to keep it from slipping. And it's something that I just picked up. You can get it at the Dollar Tree. I have found it at thrift stores. Uh, I do wanna come back and add some color. Let's put some pink. Maybe a couple of shades of pink. This paint is from the Dollar Tree, by the way, and I have really enjoyed this. Okay, I'm gonna get a paper towel and just kind of dip it in the colors and go over the top of this. I'm trying to leave it sitting in place the best that I can because we do want our pattern to come out. I like that. That's really, really nice. And the paint that ends up on here, I'm just gonna lay this down and do that. So we end up with a little bit more of a pattern. And that's not all. I'm gonna then come back and put a little bit of black paint and remember whatever colors you're using mix this up however you want to maybe you have a color palette of blue and yellow and orange or you know pink and red and and purple it can be anything it's whatever you choose you can spend time thinking about you know the exact colors you want you can put a lot of thought into it or you can just do whatever comes to your mind first I'm just gonna put some random letters because I do want this to have a lot of different layers and a lot of sort of texture. Oh, I love that we have, let's do one more E and then we have C. We're gonna take a couple of little pieces of book text. You know, we could dip it or run the edges through the paint and we're just going to randomly glue it into place. For more, more layers, more interest. I'm going to cut a little bit more off of the bottom of this. I'm going to take a moment to dry my hands, clean them up and dry them. Okay, the page is dry. I'm gonna go ahead and take this beautiful face that we've cut out and spread some glue around here. And we're gonna put her about right here. I still want to see my letters. One of the things I want to incorporate onto this page is a top hat for her. We've got this really fun piece of paper that was on a book jacket has a lot of pretty designs. We've added paint and all sorts of splotches. It's just really fun. And I think it's gonna be a piece that we can use to make a top hat. To me, a top hat, you know, it's gonna be just a little bit curved and we're gonna have these little places where the the rim or the brim sticks out but you you do want the hat to be wide enough to look like it's covering her head so I'm not going to cut in so far this time let's make this big enough and I need to shorten the little this little piece on this side whatever that is the brim sticking out I love this hat. I really like the fact that it's so tall too. I was picturing it being shorter, but now that I see it like this, oh my goodness, I really, but let's cut off just a little bit. 
and maybe round it ever so slightly at the top. I really do like that. So let's glue that into place. I think we can still see the S. I might move this down just a bit so we can see it better. I think we need something up here. Let's put in a circle. And there is a phrase on the sheet that you can print out, that you can use, or you can write it yourself. I am a world of stories. I think I'm gonna put it down on another layer of paper with some of this really beautiful paint that we have going on here. Let's put this on here. I'm gonna put this here. If you notice, it's gonna stick out a tiny little bit over the pocket, but that's okay. You just have to think ahead and not glue it onto this part of the paper. Something I used to watch my, my mom do when I was a little girl, and I loved my mother's handwriting. I just loved to watch her draw or do anything like that. I would see her come back sometimes to cursive writing she had done and add just a little touch of, you know, whether it was some sort of fancy curl on a letter. It was almost like calligraphy, you know, how you could add a little, a little bit to each letter and then as you keep adding layers to me it just gets prettier and prettier so she has her hat on once again we're at a place where you know you have options i pictured a line sort of right here at the hat to give it some definition you could put a line of glue and add some glitter you could add a little bit of a string. You could make a tiny feather out of paper. We could definitely come back and add more and more. I happen to have a book here that's got uh, fairy tales as part of the text. And I think I'm gonna take this, this piece of text and put it right here, you know, to help, to kind of help tie her into this page too and not just have that edge of the picture standing up. And we've got these, you know, the watercolor or the Kirin Dash crayons. We could keep adding bits of pink. Put some water on these. Kind of spread that pink around. And if you want to put some white, just splash some white on there. Cover up your words. Cover her up. And let's take some white paint. Get our paintbrush wet a little bit. We could even do this across the color palette. I've dried that page off almost completely. You can keep adding to this. You could dip pieces of paper in paint. You could add more and more layers. Uh, sometimes the more you add, just the more personality there is that grows on the page just right in front of your eyes. It's really, really a fun, a fun thing, you know. There's so many more things you could do. You could take these little strips of paper and after they dry, you could come back with words again and write things that are your world of stories. Um, love, family, grief. Uh, education, adventure, travel, things that you've done that felt like set you apart, or things that you want to do. This page could turn into a page of intention where you establish things on paper that you would like to have, you know, manifest in your life. I love this so much. I'm tempted to keep adding. I am going to stop right here on this page because I feel really good about it where it is. You know how we do when we're working like this, we keep going back and adding things 
to prior pages. Since this little card with the colors on it is part of the journal, I just feel like it needs something here where the corner sticks out. So, let's put that on there and then put it back. I'm gonna leave that sticking out so it can completely dry. This is our journal spread for today. I'm loving the way this is turning out. I hope you are too, and I hope this gives you some ideas for your own art journal. Thank you so much for being here. I will be back really soon with the next journal spread for this journal. Bye for now.